Hi, everybody. We got a bunch of Magic the Gathering stuff here for the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm actually going to open this up first because I'm mostly curious about it. Uh, these are making the runs again at Walmart and Target. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below in order to get entered into the giveaway for the Combat Patrol for Adeptus Mechanicus. We will be giving that away uh, either the last day of August or the first day of September. So... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to actually start this over again. I'm sorry. Because there's a bunch of background noise. Going to end that. Hey, everybody. We got a bunch of Magic the Gathering stuff in today. We're going to be opening this up live. Uh, I am going to be starting with this uh, because I'm actually really curious to see what's in it. Do not forget to leave a comment down below for your chance to win a Combat Patrol Adeptus Mechanicus. We will be giving that away either the last day of August or the first day of September. That's how months work, right? I think that's how months work. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with this. Uh, I have no idea what's in here. I haven't opened it yet. But uh, I know it comes with a couple of promo cards. They're probably going to be trash. Yep. Yep. Garbage. Nothing special. Corset 2019. Iconic Masters. Uh, I'm going to save that one for last. That's uh, <laughs> that could uh, That could be a very big hit. So we're gonna skip straight to the uncommons, see if there's anything good, and nothing special in the rare slot. As always, everything that is valued above 50 cents will be on our TCG player store. Links are always in the description down below. Kaya, one of the Planeswalkers, and Feather, the Redeemed. It has been a long time since I've opened any uh, War of the Spark stuff. Let's, uh, oh, buddy, let's kind of slow roll this Iconic Masters pack because I don't know what's super valuable in here, but uh, I know there can be some really, really big hits that I will probably just skip over. I'm really hoping we get at least a Mythic out of this because the Iconic Masters Mythics are always good. Murek, Nightblade. Is that Boiler Works Sultai Flare? Oh, Savage Born Hydra and Bubbling Cauldron. Nothing special in the rare slot. Nothing special in any of the slots, really, for that. But nice to see some iconic masters coming back. Uh, next up, I'm going to be doing some Commander Legends stuff. So we will hop into this. Loud Packs. <laughs> Let's see here. I do love me some Commander Legends, uh, Mindless Automaton, Burning Anger, Cast Down, Zot's Will, I wonder if that's still worth something, uh, Keleth, Sunmain Familiar, Rhea, Master Smith, and Dun Operative, as well as a Prismatic Piper, which comes in like one out of every five packs, I think. It's some, some ridiculous rate for a Prismatic Piper. Let's cut to the uncommons. I do love me some Armillary Sphere. Uh, it's not worth much of anything, but I do love it. Armorcraft Judge. Nevenroll Disc. Always fun to see. Ooh. Foil Etched Halana. Kessig Ranger. I think I have a total of four Commander Legends packs. I'm not 100%. Coastline Marauders, Thought Vessel, Ao, Vault of Champions, another good hit, Alana, and Strategic Planning Foil, which is, I'm pretty sure, like, two cents. The packs are just so aggressive today. Charcoal Diamond, always fun to see. Armillary Sphere, Return to Dust, 
Three visits. There we go. That's a hit. Flame can herald. Gilarna. Emoti and Palace Sentinels as a foil. So, no stupid big hits. Always good to see the rare lands, though. Uh, now we got some Modern Horizons 2 set boosters. One of the art cards. Territorial Kavu, not worth anything. Nykthos Paragon. Zuron Orb, don't know if that's worth anything. And it's... Ethereum Spinner as a foil. Another set booster. Another chance at the Red Monkey. Ooh, I like that art a lot. That one's a pretty great one. Uh, Kaleida Scorch. Misty Rainforest, there we go. Search in the premises. Titania, another good hit. Uh... One of the retro frame cards and break the ice foil. Now we have uh, one, two, three, four regular draft boosters and a collector's booster. So everything that I have opened so far have just been uh, random, like loose packs. Um, not from uh, like a booster box or from a, a bundle or anything. Um, Enchantress's presence and more garbage. So the rates that you're going to see here are probably a little different than what you would actually get in a sealed booster box. I know the sealed booster boxes actually have um, pretty high rates. We got a Mythic, Dacon, Shadow Slayer. Next. Hoping for more of those specialty lands. Soul Snare. Dothi Voidwalker. I do not think I have seen that card before. I mean, it's not really a surprise considering how big the set list is for this car uh, for this set. Uh, let's see, Vindicate, Zabaz, Scuttletide as our foil, and the collector's pack for our last pack of loose boosters. Hoping for something really, really good in here. Swamp, uh, foil etched. Rashadon, Rashadon Dockhand. Arcus Acolyte, Dress Down in the alternate art. Uh, Galvanic Relay, Bloodhound, Bone Shards. Oh, there's the Necrogoyf. Foil etched. And. Wait, is that foil etched? I can't tell. Yeah, the Necrogoyth is foil etched. This is a foil uh, old frame Torok, retro frame Torok, uh, Dread Cantor for a mythic, which is not bad. Uh, next, I'm going to be going to, these are finally out, the collector's uh, gift box version of the Dungeons & Dragons set which come with a bunch of packs and one collector's pack as well as a specialty variation of the dice. I don't think this comes with a different promo card than the normal one. Yeah, no, it's still the, just the treasure chest. So if you're in it for the promo card, it's the same one. So, I'm going to get some water here. All right. First pack of Adventures of the Forgotten Realm. I think these are standard draft packs, so I'm not expecting to see anything absolutely incredible out of this. But I would love to see a Tiamat, or any of the dragons, actually. Uh, Planeswalker would be nice. Triumphant Adventurer. Trash. Bullet. Barbarian class. Orcus, Prince of Undeath. As our rare. And a common foil. Come on, big hit. 
out of any of the packs that we're opening. We do still have a Modern Horizons 2 bundle, Instruments of the Bards. So I'm saving that one for last, which will be after these packs. So I'm, I'm really hoping for something cool from that. Ooh, I see that in the back. I don't know what it is. Blue Dragon Extended Art. Uncommon. And Westgate Reagent. I might just keep that Blue Dragon for me. Uh, one of the Evolving Wilds from this set. Standard Art Blue Dragon. And Loyal Warhound. Ray of Frost Foil. Crumble pack. What else can we get? Instrument of the Bards and a Mimic Foil. Not the, uh, not the alternate art. Let's see. Sorcerer class and the alternate art foil pixie guide. Do love the alternate arts in this set. Monk of the Open Hand, Magic Missile, and Eye of Vecna. Last two packs got a standard booster pack and a collector's booster pack, hoping for something really good from the standard pack so the collector's pack can be even better. Dungeon Descent. Nothing from this set, but this collector's pack could be dope. Island, Eye of Vecna. Uh, Dance Macabre, Yon T, Different Art, Temple of the Dragon Queen, Minsk, as a mythic, Clattering Skeletons, and Wizard Spellbook, Extended Art Foil. Hey, Race. Welcome to chat. Got the Modern Horizons dice here. Where is the 20? There's the 20. And we got 10 packs of Modern Horizons 2. And then we're going to move on into the Warhammer painting. How's it going? Pretty good. Uh, we just got done doing a sponsorship with Adeptus Ridiculous. So there's currently a 15% off site-wide Fractured Sanity and Marble Gargoyle as a foil. So, uh, if you want to, you can check out the website, uh, collectiblesquids.com. Herd, Bailoth, Arcus, Acolyte, Chance Encounter, Obsidian, Charmaw. Next pack. Fey Offering, Archfiend of Sorrows, Kaleidos Scorch. Counter spell Sithis. Not bad for a rare. Hoping for something really, really good out of these. Terminal Agony. I like the art on that. Necromancer's Familiar. Glorious Enforcer. Strike It Rich. Hoping. Yavimaya Elder. Oh, we got the big hit. We got Urza Saga. That's a really good one. I'm I'm happy to see Urza. Hello, I'm here. Was that baseball game? Base null. Base null game. Congratulations for your base null, girl boss. Tide Shaper. Solitary Confinement as a rare. And I've Progenitor Ooze. And we have a liquid metal torque as well. Snacks. Step through, Jade Avenger. Let me see if I can't focus this better. Slag Strider, Blossoming Calm. One of the split cards, which are always worthless. Milliken. Damn. I'm sorry, this is a family-friendly channel. Dang. <laughs> Dang it. Tossing that pack away. We don't need it anymore. Blessed Respite, Arcus. Something, Angelic Creator, Calibrated Blast. Get into the wire, and all we have hit so far has been uh, the Urza Saga. 
So give us the red monkey or a special gold land. Would like Hiru the Volatile. Would like special rare land. Thank you. Give dirt. Goldmire Bridge, Radiant Epicure, Specimen Collector, Herd Baloth, Seal of Cleansing, Ignoble Hierarch, and Foundry, Foundry Helix for our foil. Last pack. Can we get a Mythic? I'm hoping we can because I have not seen a single Mythic from this bundle. Bone Shredder, Blood Braid Marauder. So, uh, all in all, nothing super special. Sometimes that happens. Um, let me actually go through this and see what we got. Uh, I think the only thing that's actually like worth anything is that Urza Saga. Minsk is like a dollar. These alternate arts are like a dollar. Uh, I know usually the Commander Series cards fetch a decent price but i'm not sure uh like i said uh anything that is valued over 50 cents will actually end up being on our tcg player store i think this one might be worth something i'm not sure uh so turok and the necrogoyf are the only two that i'm not 100 percent sure on dakon i think is like still a dollar uh he could have gone down a lot actually enchantress's presence i think might be worth something uh titania was like five dollars at a point I know these go for a decent amount, uh, the specialty lands. So I, uh, I'm I'm estimating like thirteen dollars for this, maybe twenty. Uh, three visits is like three dollars usually, a dollar per visit. Vault of Champions, maybe like twelve. Thought Vessel is usually a dollar. Uh, Halana Kessig Ranger might be worth something, but only because it's foil etched, and. Zot's will is usually around a dollar. So, thank you all for watching on YouTube. For Twitch, we're going to do the next part of the video now. But uh, I'm actually going to need to do a smidgen of cleanup uh, before we go into that. So, thank you all for watching. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.